Dozens of Pima County court cases may have been tainted because of a mistake by the county attorney's office. That is the word from Pima County's chief public defender. News 4 Tucson investigator Matthew Schwartz has the details in a story you'll see only on 4. It's a huge deal and all I need to prove that is put yourself in one of our clients' positions. You're arrested, you're indicted, you're sent to prison. Three years later, it comes out that one of the officers involved in your case was a liar. What Pima County Chief Public Defender Joel Feynman means is that a police officer who was a listed witness in many cases was caught lying years ago. And by law, the county attorney should have immediately notified defendants and their lawyers about that prior instance of lying. Every citizen has the right to know if a witness who's going to be called against them is a liar or not. And the county attorney, it's their obligation to provide that. It all started after a fight at this bar in Marana in 2015. A Tucson police officer named Crystal Morales was found by TPD to have lied about her role in the altercation. In early 2016, TPD properly notified prosecutors about the cop's dishonesty, sending this letter to the county attorney's office. That office should have put Morales' name on the Brady list. That's the list of law enforcement employees who have been caught lying and whose names prosecutors must turn over to the defense because their credibility could be questioned. However, just last month, Tom Weaver, then chief criminal deputy in the county attorney's office, sent this letter to the public defender saying Morales should have been listed on the Brady list back in early 2016. Is that a big deal to you, that you didn't know about that the entire time? The prosecutor never told you, hey, this officer who arrested you, this officer who interviewed witnesses, this officer who our case depends on is a liar. You went to prison without knowing that. Is that a big deal? It's, it's huge. Well, this is a significant mistake. Jason Craig is a law professor at UA and former criminal defense attorney. Here we have an officer who is known to have committed knowing falsehoods during investigation of a very important crime. And this was evidence that could have impeached her credibility in every case that she was involved in. And we need to know why she was left off the Brady list for these three years. Only the county attorney's office can answer that. County attorney Barbara Lawall declined our interview request. Instead, she sent a statement saying, we do not know exactly what happened that caused the omission of Officer Morales from the Brady list. Mawal also said that since 2015, Morales was involved in 75 cases. Feynman disagrees. I say we have her involved in 200 cases. Whether or not she was a listed witness doesn't matter. Lawal sent us a list of the closed cases in which she claims Morales was a listed witness. Almost all the defendants pled guilty. Those people who pled guilty might not have pled guilty if they had known that an officer involved in the case was on record as not telling the truth in an official investigation. The wall said after the omission was noticed last month, we immediately informed all attorneys with open cases in which Officer Morales was a listed witness and sent them the Brady documents as well. Not one attorney has contacted us indicating an issue with their case and no one has filed any motions either. No attorney has filed one of these motions yet because it's a very time-consuming process. The letter from TPD to LaWall's office in 2016 about Officer Morales was sent to Kelly Johnson, then LaWall's chief criminal deputy. Johnson is now a Pima County Superior Court judge. She declined comment through a court spokesperson who said since Johnson no longer works for the county attorney, she does not want to assume, provide inaccurate information, try to recreate a situation, or comment on a letter that may or may not have been received by the county attorney's office three years ago. Someone clearly dropped the ball here, but ultimately it's the chief prosecutor's office, the elected prosecutor here, Ms. Wall's responsibility to ensure that her office complies with Brady. What do you think the county attorney's office should be doing in light of this mistake now? 
there's an uh, investigation that needs to happen. The county attorney's office needs to figure out how this officer wasn't placed on the Brady list at the right time, right? It's their responsibility to do that. TPD says Officer Morales has since been promoted to detective in the neighborhood crime section. If she's a detective, she's gathering evidence, she's taking statements from people, she's putting her credibility on the line each time she writes a police report saying, this is what someone told me happened. Is this an isolated mistake or has the county attorney failed to inform defense lawyers about others who should be on Brady, possibly affecting the fate of more defendants? I don't know, and that's really the important question right now, and that's why it's so important to find out why this happened. Was this a systemic failure? Feynman, who lost to Lawal in the 2016 Democratic primary for county attorney, says his staff is reviewing every case that Officer Morales was involved in. He says it's an extremely time-consuming process, but in his words, it's critical because the Constitution is at stake. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson. Both lawyers in that report say former defendants in cases involving that police officer should immediately contact their attorney.